welcome to my channel. My name is Eunice. I have an exciting video for you today. We just started making over our patio space, which is why I'm outside right now. And I thought it'd be really fun to throw in some DIY decor projects for it. I have been spending a lot more time out here. It's become my oasis. I also just started getting into gardening lately. So I've been spending my mornings here watering our plants. And I'm just so thankful to have this space, especially now while we're stuck at home because it's a great way to get some sunlight and just to get some air out here and I just find so much peace out here so that's why I'm so excited to make over this area personalize it and turn it into our little haven so that full patio makeover video will be coming out soon for today I just wanted to go over three DIY projects that I did for it I had a lot of fun making these so I hope you enjoy them if you aren't already make sure to subscribe to my channel I post every week around home decor DIY and home lifestyle and yeah with all that said let's jump straight into those projects Alright guys, so I knew I wanted to create some sort of hanging planter for this video. I found this one online and gave it a little twist with some wooden beads. For this one, you're going to need some sort of rope. I used a hemp cord in this hand color, a pot of your choice, some tape, wooden beads, and make sure your rope can fit through them, and some scissors. First, I determined how long I wanted this hanging planter to be, and then I cut 8 strands of that length. I gave some leniency so that I can crisscross the ropes and still have it be long enough. Then I tied those 8 strands together at the end into a double knot. Just make sure that this is sturdy enough to hold whatever size planter you're dealing with. Then I flipped the pot upside down and held the knot towards the center of it. And then I split those 8 strands into 2's and spread them out evenly. So you'll basically end up with 4 pairs of strands going in a compass direction. Then I tape them all down to keep them still. At the edge of the bottom of the pot, I tied each pair into a knot and slid a bead in. And when you're done with all 4 pairs of this, it'll look like this. Afterwards, I grabbed one strand from each knot that are next to each other and then tied a knot with those two. So like I'm grabbing a strand from each node to create a new node. And then at that knot, I slid in a bead again. Then I taped that down to keep it still. I went around and did the same and I tried to keep the knots at the same length so that the diamonds that you're creating in between each knots all have the same size. And yeah, you basically just keep doing that until you reach the end of the pot. So as you can see, this could totally work with any rope and any size pot as long as the rope is sturdy enough to support it. And there you have it! Once I was done, I tied another knot at the very end of the hanging rope and hung it by this light that we have on our patio. Moving on, I really wanted to create pillow covers for the patio, mainly because pillows can be quite expensive and if you DIY it, the design options are endless. You won't need any sewing tools for this one and it's so easy. All you're gonna need is a fabric of your choice. I chose this pink plaid one, I think it's so cute. A pillow fill, some fabric glue, and scissors. I created the pillow covers to have openings on the back so that the pillows can be easily removable. So first I laid the pillow on the fabric to cut out the amount of fabric I need. I wrapped the fabric around and loosely identified where the glued hems would need to be and I wrapped it so that it looks like a sandwich so that the flaps from top and bottom create that middle opening on the back of the pillow. Then I cut that amount of fabric. So we're basically working with the inside of the cover, so after we glue down the hems, we're going to be flipping it inside out, so keep that in mind as you're watching. I wrap the pillow again to double check how much I can hem in that middle opening, and then I place some glue near the edge and folded it towards me because again we're looking at the inside of the cover, and then I pressed it down. This glue works really well, I highly recommend it. I'll add a link to it below. Um, I only let it dry for about 10 minutes and I would give it some more time if you're working with thicker fabric, but I was really impressed with how quickly it dried. I will note though to be gentle with the fabric for the next 12 hours just to be safe as you're finishing up your pillow covers. 
So I did this on each end and then I cut off some excess fabric outside the glued hems. And here's how it's going to look after I'm wrapping the pillow again to double check the size and determine how far in I can glue down the remaining sides. Then I added some more glue to those sides and pressed down and then afterwards I cut off excess fabric. And that's it! I flipped the cover inside out and stuffed it with the pillow fill. I ended up making two for each patio chair. And if you're in a rainy area, you could also give it some waterproofing spray. Saving my favorite for last, for the third decor, I made a small fire pit. You're just gonna need three things, some rocks, make sure that they're not coated with anything that will react to fire, a terracotta or concrete pot, glass works too, and some canned gel fuel. Canned fuels are for one-time use only, I don't know if you've seen them, they usually have them beneath like um, trays of food when you get food catered, so this would be great if you know you're gonna have friends over, or if you want to roast some marshmallows, or even create an at-home date night ambiance. So first you're gonna place that can in the center of the pot to determine how many rocks need to go beneath it to keep it as high up inside the pot. I did this just to be very safe with open flame, so I made sure that the edge of the top of the can is also at the edge of the top of the pot. Then I filled the pot with the rocks. Um, I got this bag of rocks from Home Depot and I just rinsed them and dried them out for this video. And once you've got enough at the bottom of the pot, you can place the can in there and fill in the sides with more rocks until you fill the whole pot up. And that's literally it! I used some scissors to pry open the gel can and I used a long reach lighter to light the fuel. It was quite windy this day and I was a little bummed I couldn't get good shots with fire during the day. But the wind died down at night and I'm so glad I hadn't used up the fuel can for that because I was able to get these shots with the fuel showing. So those are it for the DIY patio decor projects. I hope you enjoyed them. I love how each of these is customizable to your style. So you could change the fabric for the pillowcases, you could change the type of terracotta pot or rocks you use for the fire pit, and you can also change up the rope or the type of pot you use for the hanging lantern. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit that little bell next to it so that you're notified when you get weekly content around home decor, DIY, and lifestyle from me. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.